Hi Floss Tube. This is Mini Gray at all X's. Um, I've been in my A for a while. Um, I'm I have no excuse. Um, all other than I've just been wanting to stitch and stitch and stitch. So I was looking at Smokey. Um, so I have lots to show you and the landscapers I live in a condo and the landscapers have been cutting the grass I hope they're gone I've started this video three times this is the third time um, and for some reason they just want to you know cut grass here in front of me uh, but anyway this is this will be the third time I started this I haven't made a video I think in over, the, over a month and the day I finally decided to set it up and get it done you know all hell breaks loose with the landscapers but anyway okay I welcome back all of my old subscribers and who've been waiting on a video and I welcome to my channel new people who haven't seen me before okay um, I did participate in stitch mania I started on the first and only stitched eight only started eight new projects I didn't want to get too overwhelmed I mean I have a like 20 something whips already I didn't want to add too many to the pile so only did eight and I can't remember exactly which uh, order these are in as far as when I started them but this way I'll just pick them up as I go and this way you can see all of them anyway okay this one is called All Souls Verlanden it's a sampler that I saw a friend of Olivia B on I think it may have been her last video or maybe the one before but on one of her videos she had some friends over and they were stitching and one of her friends had this uh, chart and I saw it and I immediately had to get it so I've started it this was one of my mania starts Oops. All Souls were landing. And that's the way it's supposed to look. Um, I'm stitching it with DMC 4245. Uh, this is one of their the colorist threads. It says uh, it goes from a almost a reddish purple to I don't know if you can see that or not. Here we go to a blue a dark blue maybe now okay anyway this is what I'm using and this is what I'm, I'm stitching it on 28 count oh I'm sorry 14 count white Ada and it's as far as I've got I want to get back to this here I like that. Okay, so that was one. And so I don't forget it. Uh, this is witchy, a witch stitch. I didn't have any notes, so I'm going to have to go to my X stitch program. where I've recorded everything on here hopefully hmm. that was one I missed okay which stitch here you go I finished it during I started it on one of my day one of my this was one of my starts 
doing Stitch Mania and I finished it after the eighth one I went back and I started working on my new my starts and this is when I finished and yesterday I decided I was going to fin FFO I have I have some more FFO that I'll show you when I get to that section okay the, right now these are my stitch mania starts and finishes this is what I've been stitching on for the whole month of May this one is another um, stitch mania start that I actually finished and this is a Sue Hillis design I got the chart from Pam of Pam and Steph sent it to me because I had commented that I really liked the Sue Hillis design and it says my heart belongs to the sea and this is what I did with it this is my version and this is stitched on a 28 count uh, linen let's see this is a, a, a 20, 30, no actually a 32 count Belfast linen and it's in smoke white and that's the design this is these are um, DMC colors so that's a Sue Hillis which oh, I didn't have I don't have that one in here let's see maybe I'm looking in the wrong place yeah we go here it is Okay, Stitch Witch is a 28, it's on 28 count uh, cream Lugana. And this is by Hinzite. Hin Hinzite? Okay, and you can see the little witch and spooky fabric I got on the back of that one. Okay, so that was a 28 count Lugana. The next one is Count Your Blessings. Hmm. I'm looking at my let's see here we go yeah okay this is Count Your Blessings the chart is by Blackberry Lane Designs the little items in her basket are stitched one over one I don't know if you could tell the lettering is stitched one over one. These are with DMC colors, um, a DMC co uh, color conversion, and it's on a uh, beach walk from under the sea fabrics, 28 count. Okay. The next one, Halloween Cat from the Nebby Needle. I finished this one. I can't. I went back and finished this one after my eight starts, and it's on twenty-eight count honey amber from hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. Okay, the next one is. Let me find it. My X stitch uh, journal, as you can see, they're all listed. So just have to find it. Okay, this one is. Lucy Beam loves in stitches. Stitch always. Um, I believe this is my conversion of threads. Um, I changed some of the colors because I didn't have them in my stash. I tried to stitch most of my stuff from stash. I have so much, so 
It's about time I start using it, and that way my husband won't have to give it away or sell it for cheap. <laughs> so I'll use them. Okay, this is um, Stitch Always, and it's Lucy Beam Loving Stitches, and it's stitched on 28 count Picture This Plus Legacy. Kind of fill that in so you can see it. You can see through it. Okay, there we go. Stitch always. And she's wearing a pin cushion on her head. Okay. So those are my those are some <clears throat> whips from now these are the these are the the last two of my whips that I have not finished that I started doing stitch mania this one is from Silver Creek samplers and it's called Dorothy's discovery Dorothy's Discovery. I like I'm enjoying this one. And I can't wait to get back to it. As you can see, I've I've worked pretty good on, on all of these. Like I said, if I didn't finish them, they are way past half point as far as completion goes. So I'm rest of the summer and I'm, I may take them with me to stitch con to stitch on but something tells me I won't be doing a lot of stitching I've watched video after video from the New Jersey retreat and they had it was it looked like they had so much fun I almost felt like I was there and I can imagine what's going to be going on at StitchCon. So I'm not sure how much I'll be getting, how much stitching I'll be doing. Okay, the next one is from Heartstring Samplery. It is called M is for Mermaid. You know how I am about mermaids. That's what the chart, the design looks like. I'm stitching this on a 28 count antique white Lugana, not Lugana, Murano from I think it's MCG Textiles. I have, I have no problem with this. And that's what it looks like. I have the first part of the first mermaid and I'm starting on the second mermaid on this side but I got the, the letters in so like I said this is mm, well over halfway done and that's how I do my starts I, I, I don't start you know with a few just a few stitches I like to start and stitch enough to where I can see some progress and really see what's been done. So those are my uh, uh, Stitch Mania starts and finishes. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to go? Oh, let's see. Let me finish with my... This is my, I call it, it's, it's a salad bowl. There was a whole set. I only bought the big bowl because I only wanted the big bowl. But in my bowl, I have some more finishes, FFOs that I did yesterday. Like I said, I got into a, I got into a stitching 
I just wanted to do some FFO in. So, this one was done quite a while ago. Baked goods. And it's just a little pillow. I haven't decided if I want to add um, a cording or anything on there. But now it's just a little pillow. So that's one. You've seen this one. Well, on the back of this is, since it's baked goods for, and it has a gingerbread man, has a little gingerbread cookie over here. I've had some baked goods and gingerbread, a uh, gingerbread house, and in the fabric on the back. Like I said, you saw this one with the beans in it, in my bean fabric. My witch. This one I stitched around Easter time, and it's fr it's one of those um, Brita cup designs. It was from one of my magazines. I can't remember now which one it was. And this is the little pillow with the red rose fabric because she has red flower behind her ear. And I say her because she has a flower in it behind her ear. This one is another one from one of my magazines. It's black work. And this is my version of black work. And I put the spring green color on the back. This I did a couple of summers ago. And it's called Boo. There's some satin stitches here. And this border. Oh, I was so happy when it actually met up. Doing that satin stitch. Oh. And Happy Halloween with the bats on the back. So there you go. These are my finish, my FFOs and they're in my bowl in my bowl display for now okay so let's see I have a new start that I was to begin to work on for today this is this this design I saw it on an Etsy shop and not long before then I had watched Michelle Garrett Bendy Stitchy I had watched one of her videos and I think it was like the for her introduction video and she was telling how she got her name Bendy Stitchy and it was because she used to do yoga and that's how she decided she was going to get that was going to be her I guess her channel name Bendy Stitchy and it was such a funny little story that when I saw this chart it says I love yoga that's the name of the chart is I love yoga uh, I thought about her because of all the little poses and like this one is bent backwards and this uh, the ones at the top all bent over so it reminded me of her so that's why I got this chart and like I say I only started it this morning while I was watching who was I watching um, I don't know who I can't remember now who I was watching I've watched so many videos while I oh, during during Stitch Mania, um, and I can't remember now who, but this is the very the this is as far as I've gotten. There's one little lady laying there by herself, and this is on an 18 count white Ada. Now the the flosses I'm using, my husband, bless his heart, purchased these flosses through Amazon. For a Christmas gift and I'm not sure they're polyester some kind of polyester blend or something 
and the name on here is Jin Han friendly something I can't read it here's the name you can see it and then it has is it focusing no So it's focused on me. Okay. So I'm not sure. They're really soft threads. I don't think they're from Japan. I don't think they're si uh, silk or anything, but they're really, really soft. And he bought them. I'm going to use them. And they, I mean, the, the chart is, is charted for DMC. And to be honest, I have all these th flosses in a different box for my DMC. And I didn't feel like going hunting through all those boxes to find the number of DMC colors. So I just decided to look through that one little small box. As a matter of fact, this is it. And, you know, so I've got the colors separated out like that, you know, there's the, okay, like the navy blues, the dark, really dark blue, blue, and the lighter blues. I think I, I'm not sure exactly how many colors it was, but I've got the red up the yin yang anyway. And here's the blue greens. And the light blue greens. And so it was easy just to look on the picture. Said, hey, this one is red. This one is uh, one calls for a melon, uh, electric blue. So those are the colors that I pulled out, and I think they're, they're beautiful colors. And like I said, I love the stitching. So. I mean, the Japanese, uh, the Chinese threads, I have no idea where they came from. Probably China. Um, but, they're beautiful colors. They work, if they, if they dry rot and disintegrate in 10 years, that's fine. If I'm still here, I'll, I'll, I'll stitch it again. But these are the colors that it was called for. I think they're beautiful. Just beautiful. And like I said, the, the, the floss is really soft. So I'm not sure what type of thread it is. But hey. It's it's floss. So I'm going to use it. Okay, so what else? Oh, okay. So those are all of my whips. Those are all of my whips. Um, I have a folder full of purchases, charts, and some of the latest floss uh, fabrics I've got. But I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through this as quickly as possible. I picked up and it's a no no special order. Smokey. Hi Smokey. What you doing, Smokey? Yeah. You up? Okay, come on up. Oh, big boy. Okay. This is my smoke monster.
as you can see, he's a big baby. I'm just a baby, yes, you me as mama. This is mama's baby. Don't scratch me. He likes for me to rub his head. Oh. Oh, look at that face. How can you not love it? How can you not love that little face? Oh. Okay, you want to go look out the window? Okay, there you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. No, you can't be under there. Okay. Anyway, like I said, these are ugh, I can hurt my nose. Are in no specific order. This is just some of the stuff I've collected up. No. This is Hometown Holidays Coffee Shop. I'm adding this to my collection because I'm right now I'm just collecting. Same thing with this. This is from Stony Creek. They have a free He likes looking out the window. They have a free design, uh, seasonal design, and you just pay for shipping. So, well, that's cute. I hadn't looked at all the other pieces. These, is, this is what's coming up. This is the one that I have now. Uh, ingredients for a horrific Halloween. Now you don't get the button, but they give you where you can order it from. And that's what it'll look like. You can you can stitch it as either individual, um, flat fold, or as a ball hanging, a bill pull. So, this is the first month. This is, um, like I say, pattern of the month. And this is it. This is the first one. Okay. I ordered, you know I love mermaids, and this is from Madame Chantilly, mermaid. I ordered this from Stony Creek, of course, because I was paying shipping anyway, so, you know, no travel, no, no chart travels alone. Um, this is an old one I had picked up, I think, yeah, this is, I picked up at, uh, in stitches a while ago. And I had pulled it because I was deciding if I wanted to get it up and use this fabric. I'm not sure. So, it's still in my folder. I may have to, may put that one back. Okay, I got a uh, magazine from Sharon Hilton, and I got a great little message. She sent me a card, Sharon, and thank you, Sharon. I, I like it because I don't have a subscription to Cross Stitcher and I like this this uh, particular one. There's some great uh, charts in it. And it has freebie, it has a pelican, not a pelican. Huh. Swan, um, my brain is just, you can tell I'm getting old. What is it? What is it? Uh, the pink flamingo. Why am I yelling? 
a flamingo. Isn't that cute? That came with the magazine and so did this um, red holder. So thank you Sharon. I really appreciate this magazine. Thank you. But you didn't you didn't have to send it to me. Um trying to keep from I'm about to knock you off, but I'm trying to keep from all this stuff. An uh, avalanche. Okay. My friend Victoria. Victoria Owens, thank you, sweetheart. Um my birthday's in June. We have a June, well, we have a birthday card exchange in a group that we're in, Heritage Group. And so she sent me, she sent me mine early. She couldn't wait. So now, the exchange requires a, a well, you send a birthday card and two um, flosses. And a sweetheart that Victoria is, she sent me four flosses. She sent me four flosses. A beautiful little card that reminds me of my Smokey. Some tea. And also a chart. Um, trying to see if there's a cover picture with this. No. She said, Hello, Miss Minnie. Sorry it's early, but I couldn't resist. Okay. This, I'm not going to show, okay, I'm just going to show, flash you the design. Okay. That's all of the, it's not really a, I guess it's not really a cover picture. It shows the back stitching. Here we go. Here's a color picture. Boo Butterfly. That's beautiful. I love that. It's by Brian Jackins. Love for cross stitch. Okay. Now if you go on um let's see. The cross stitch group on Facebook. Um Yeah, you can get this at www.loveforcrossstitch.com Okay. Beautiful. Go check it out. Okay. So, thank you Victoria. Thank you. I appreciate appreciate all of it. It's it's wonderful. And you didn't have to do all of that. But I really appreciate it, so I love that. I love the cart. Now I can drink now I can drink my tea. Let's see what kind of she is in. Ooh, okay. Yeah. See now I can drink my tea. I was trying to save it and share my gifts. But now so now that I've shared, I can drink my tea. Okay. I picked these two up. Um, okay, here's one that I purchased. This was um, from Market this year, and it wasn't fin. It wasn't. I guess they didn't have them printed up or whatever. Um, right after uh, Market, and I asked my LNS uh, in stitches bring me back this uh, sampler from Silver Creek Samplers and it's called Melody Song you know me and my mermaids so 
So it, I think it came in a little after the beginning of Stitch Mania. So early part of May. Okay, from the attic. Okay, from I ordered these um, from McKenna through the attic. This is another Silver Creek sampler. This is Mount Mount Tunes Riz In. Check out on the third day. I think that's cute. Yeah, I bought that one from McKenna. Fishes and bait. Love this one. Another mermaid. It says fishes and bait, fishes and bait. When a woman marries, then troubles her fate. And this is from Plum Street Samplers. Can't wait to get that one started either. Love that one. This one I was. <laughs> Actually, I was under the impression that the whole thing came together. So, if anybody has the other parts of this and they are interested in selling them, I would appreciate it. This is Bubbles Bell Bonds. The whole chart is it's from Raise the Roof, so I think it's out of print. And I know I shouldn't ask for some people to send it, mail me, uh, uh, sell it to me. But I would like to get the other sections. This is Raise the Roof. And it says the wrong side of the tracks is the chart. Is the name of the, the design. And the only part that I, I have, the part that I have is Bubbles Bell Bonds. Which is... The third section here. It comes in three, I think it's three or four parts. Uh, okay, it's four parts. This is four of four. So it's the bell bonds right here. But I would like to get the other sections. I may have to look them up on eBay or somewhere. But I like that one. I like the whole little thing. It's so cute. This is another one. I think this was a freebie. Um friend of mine, Jan. I think she was she gave me this one. I think and I think she had gotten it in a a uh, goodie bag or grab bag from in stitches from our uh, LNS because I only she only paid like a dollar so it was on sale and it was probably in the uh, grab bag but I like this this is this I have done to let you see what care my parents took of me with care and cost this I have wrote and finished with a pleasant thought and what really got me the weeping willow trees. Where I grew up, we had a huge weeping willow tree. When I was really, really small, my father built a picnic table. And he built it around the tree so that way we could all sit, you know, around the tree. And at one point, it got so, the trunk of the tree got so big that it started growing over the edges of the table so you had to take that one down so then he took that one apart and built just a freestanding picnic table in the front yard but we had a huge weeping willow tree and when we moved from that house um, I was a teenager and I could not reach my arms around the trunk of that tree it was that big and the roots had run all the way through our yard. We had a big yard. So it ran all the way through the yard under our house to the backyard. We saw roots in the backyard from the tree out front. But anyway, okay, I did during 
this is my my long absence and stitch mania I did receive my keepsakes 2019 cross stitch calendar and I'm not sure if anybody I haven't seen anybody do a flip through on it so I'm going to show you this is this is okay this is not the calendar this is the booklet now that they put all of the cross stitch pieces in they used to just add them like on the back page of the calendar uh, but this way they have them separated out now so whatever the pieces are the pictures that show with that month um, you can stitch and they have the chart separated okay um, for this one is January February it has some <laughs> some of the little cards we used to give out at Hall I mean at Valentine's Day at school. Remember those? Uh, March it has some oh these are beautiful beautiful like Spanish tiles. And let's see April. Oh and I bet that is by let me see. Emma Condon, this bicycle, enjoy the ride. That's April. May is B. It's a huge B and some flowers. June is fishing at the lake. July is fresh fruit. August is this beautiful flower here, like a mom. Let's see. That's August. Okay, and on the back here we've got September. That's September. Uh, October is pumpkin here. Okay. November. Some fall colors. And then of course December 2019 is the tree. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you December. They had a but I guess this will be for December 2018. Oh, they give you two for December. Okay. Alright. The designers, let's see. Okay, Christmas wishes at Earth, Ursula Michaels. Uh, she did the Valentines. Very nice. But I knew that one at Bicycle was in the garden with the living. That one. I could tell her sad. Okay, so that's the 2019 keepsakes calendar. Let's see, I picked up heart heartstring samplery. I need a fairy coffee mother. I think that's cute. Batteries getting ready to run out. Um Deja Brew. I want to show you this one right quick. This was, in, I was enabled by McKenna. Bubble Bubble. She showed this on her channel. So I had to copy and order that. Um, I got a few, I just want another, another couple that I want to show you that I received from my friend Irene. I got this one as a gold collections petite kit. 
Love that one. This I can't wait to start. This one for some reason. We went to Pennsylvania and I love those buggies. And this is another one. I love that Chris that lady sitting in the tub. Okay. My camera is about to cut out on me because I started this video several times. Um, fabric of the month from uh, Under the Sea Fabrics. Everybody's showing them by now, I think, anyway. So, I enjoyed spending time with you all today. I am not going to promise again that I'll make another video really really soon uh, but you you will see from me again so until then I'm going to make some more little X's and happy stitching bye bye